Hi, I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Matt. And welcome, welcome to, to our Jungle, Jungle Home, Home with, with a View. view. Hi, so we're here in my entryway. We have this beautiful console table for functionality. There's no sunlight over here, so I have some dried flowers. This here, I made myself. I hung eucalyptus and lavender from this tree branch that I had found. And I have a picture of my family here. This is when my son was a newborn. And then I also have some pictures here on the wall. This was a photo shoot we did in our living room. Okay, so now we're in the living room. So we celebrate Kwanzaa. So I like to keep my Kanara out all year to remind me of the seven principles. And this is actually one of my first DIYs. I contact papered these shelves here. This is actually one of my favorite artists here, Dominique Brown. I love this picture because it reminds me of my son and I. This mirror, I actually got off Craigslist. I wanted a large mirror to help make this room feel bigger. I don't know if you guys have heard of um, buy nothing on Facebook. Other people post stuff for free. So I actually got this for free. So you go on Facebook and look for buy nothing and whatever your neighborhood name is. So I go to buy nothing Long Island City. And this is the infamous egg chair that everyone always talks about when they come over. I would like to say this is the focal point of the living room. I do like to sit here and watch um, river activities. There's like cute little tugboats, ferries, there's a helipad across the river. And this is actually a play mat. We have our son and we play with him all the time and it comes up in pieces and it's like customizable. It's very comfortable. This is by the House of Noah. They've like just made life so much easier for me. So this room is a southwest facing room. It gets lots of sun, so I have a lot of my bright, light, tolerant plants in here. And this is actually my husband's favorite plant. Hey, I'm Matt, Emily's husband. Um, this tree in particular, this fiddle leaf fig, pretty cool story behind it. I picked this up uh, somewhere else in Queens, then decided the most efficient way to take it home was to take it on the seven train during rush hour. So if you ever see a video with oversized or very unique items on the MTA, um, you could possibly see me on there. And this tree gets very great light from this window here, and we have a very nice view of the Manhattan skyline. And it's really special because this pier is where Emily and I got engaged uh, in 2015, uh, way before we even knew this building existed. Now every day we can look out on this pier and you know reflect back on that very special memory. Speaking of special pieces, uh, one of my favorite pieces, this whole apartment, is this here. Uh, it's done by my Aunt Helena. Uh, she was married to my Uncle John, who tragically passed away a number of years ago. But this piece uh, helps us remember him, and I think it's pretty cool. So now we're in the dining area. This is just a little dining nook. This is one of those classic New York City rooms where the living room and dining room are squished together. So I wanted to create some separation. So I actually put this tree here to separate it. And I picked these chairs out because they're plastic, easily wipeable, because I have my five-year-old and he likes to make messes on chairs. And this is also another plant corner, as you can see. I have this pothos plant trailing up onto this light fixture that I actually got off Facebook Marketplace. And this is the um, kitchen area. We have um, people over a lot we like to host. I have these bar stools. They're like tropical because that's what I love. And there's a black woman on this one and I like to think that it's me. And then we have these open shelves here. So I wanted to like make it stylish, but also functional. So I have cups that I keep up here and plants and some cute little tea lights in here. And I have this orchid and this orchid is actually really special to me because um, a neighbor in the building gave it to me. And it's the first time I got an orchid to rebloom. The blooms fell off and I got the blooms to come back, so. And then this is the door to the terrace, but we'll check that out later. Let's head to the bedrooms.
So now we're in the bedroom. I have this really cute boho hat holder here. This is also another piece by Intentional Decor by Dawn, and it represents spread love by giving. So it's my reminder to give to other people. And I also decided to hang some like raffia um, fans here for some more boho flair. Let's come on in some more. So I recently put up this wallpaper here and I feel like it just completely changed the room. I did have some trouble putting it up, so I hired a tasker through TaskRabbit. I have this canopy here. It's like a light fabric. I have light fabric curtains as well. I wanted a new bed, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So for the time being, I put a headboard slip cover on and I found it on Amazon. I had no idea it existed, but it's totally working it for me right now. And let's head over to my son's room. So now we're in my son Max's room. Max, how old are you? Five. <laughs> and do you love your room? Mm -hmm. And what is your favorite part of the room? Up there. What is that? It's the light that you're making. Yes. It was a basket and I turned it into a lampshade, a hanging light. I added raffia pieces to it and some string and there's a chargeable light bulb in there so there's no um, cords hanging. I let my creative juices flow in this room. Disco balls are all the rage right now so I made a disco ball planter and I put it in the window to catch the sun. And then over here I have this lion piece that I made. It was just this piece here and I added the eyes and the nose and all the stuff with like a old t-shirt that I cut up. And these are old picture frames that I spray painted blue and then I hot glued some bendable wire on it and now I can change out the artwork of his anytime. He brings new pieces home because I want him to know his artwork is special and have that on display. This is the common um, IKEA cube shelf and I put contact paper on it to cover up um, all the bumps and scrapes on it. I actually got this from Buy Nothing as well. This is actually the inspiration for the room. It says, you belong here, you matter, you are worth it, you are important, you are loved, you have a voice, you are valued, and you are respected. So I like to say that to him and have him look at himself in the mirror. And then this is also another plate mat that looks like a rug. This is actually what it looks like. It's a tile and you just put them all together. These I got off of Etsy and it's wood, so I wanted to bring in like more texture, so I added that to the wall as well. And this is actually a decal on the wall here. I didn't want to buy a headboard, those are really expensive. And this room can grow with him because it's a decal, I can take the decals off, I can take the letters off. And we've made it to the terrace. My inspiration out here was like a Miami vibe. I have a lot of tropical plants here, the cabana. Um, we have people over a lot. So we have this giant Jenga here. And then my son likes to play in this pool. All right, thanks for stopping by. That's the end of the tour. You can find me on Instagram at emily.offrey. Let's cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers. Yeah.